you can see the scent, the red, the delivered, and also the bouncing bubbles, letting you know that they are also trying to respond at this moment in time. Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo. And today I'm gonna show you how you're able to install and get RCS messages running. RCS messages is a rich communication service that's made by Google. It's pretty much a way that you're able to have a normal chat service serving as text messaging. So it's just like iMessage and, and Hangouts and everything else. You're able to send large files, high resolution photos, bigger videos, send payments, a whole bunch of things, along with the whole delivered and read receipts. Also along with that little you know, moving bubbles, letting you know that somebody is typing. So how you're able to get this done is follow all of these steps in this order. First off, you wanna turn off your Wi-Fi because you want this application to directly read with your SIM card and not something with a Wi-Fi service. Now, once you have Wi-Fi turned off, you wanna head over inside of the Play Store if you don't already have Android Messages. So on the top, just search for Messages. And you're gonna find the one that's right here that is called Messages with that little text bubble coming from the top left-hand side and it's made by Google. Now, once you hit on Install, one of the things you will have to do because what you want to see is this right here, join the beta. Now, yours will not show instantly. You wanna hit on the back button once, then go right back over inside of messages, let it reload, and then you'll see this option here for join the beta. So click on the join button and hit join. Now, once you are inside of here, it's joining the beta. What you're gonna do is basically just hit on the little home button and you want to restart your phone. So it's gonna kind of just reboot with this new beta uh, configuration kind of going. So hit on restart and I'll see you guys back in one second. So as this thing is booting up here, one of the reasons why we have to go through all of these steps is even though Google is ready for it, the carriers are not. So it's a really hard battle between Google and the carriers, like you know Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, and everything else. So hopefully in the future, uh, you don't have to do all of these steps and it's up and running, but that probably won't be until the year 2020. So now that we are up and running, the other thing you have to do is clear the data on carrier services. Now on this phone here, I did not have carrier services. So go inside of your Play Store again and go and search for carrier services. It is an application that looks just like this. Now, once you have it installed, or maybe you already had it installed, you can just search for it just so you can see. You wanna go inside of your settings. You're gonna scroll down to where it says applications. Now inside of apps, you if you have to, you can go to show system apps if this one was already pre-installed on your phone, but just scroll down to where you see carrier services. And then once you found carrier services, click on this one, go inside of storage, and then just clear the data, which you can see I've already had it done, but it's because I just downloaded it uh, just a couple minutes ago, so there's really nothing to be cached. Now that you're done clearing the data on your carrier services, the next thing you wanna do is go and find messages and clear the data there. So really all you're trying to do is just restart from fresh on a couple different services and applications that will work together. So then this way you're starting you know, at the point you want. So you wanna make sure that you're also clicking on the correct messages. So this right here, this is the Samsung messages with the text bubble on the bottom left. And then when you have this one, a little bit more curvy little text icon with it coming from the top left-hand side, this is the Android messages. Again, go inside of storage, and then you wanna make sure you clear the data. Now, because this one was basically just installed, there's no data to basically delete. Uh, but if you are already using it, you wanna make sure that you hit on that button. So now that you've cleared the data on the carrier services, you also cleared the data on the Google messages, there is one more application that you wanna download to kind of have this all work. If you already have the Nova Launcher, you can find it within Nova Launcher, but some people might not use that and this is what you need to search for. Go to the very top for the search button and you're gonna download a application called Activity Launcher. Once you've searched for Activity Launcher, it's gonna look like this. This is the one step that I didn't do prior to this video, uh, but I already had everything running on the Google Pixel 4 XL. So I've already tested it, had it running, used it last night, uh, and I was able to test it with my buddy Brett. So now that you have downloaded Activity Launcher, uh, what you wanna do now is head over inside of this application. You wanna open it up, hit on OK. 
Again, you wanna to go to the one that is the Google Messages, which is right here. And then inside of this one, you're gonna find the one that is talking about set RCS flags. And it's this one right here. So once you tap on set RCS flags, you wanna to go to next, you want to allow, cause you wanna go inside of it. And basically you have it. So if you haven't already gone into your messages, you wanna go into this. So I'm gonna set this one as a default messaging. And now that that is done, we're gonna head into this one right here, which is set RCS flags, because originally this one, you know, the Android messages was not activated and used as the default. So now that you've done that, on the very top with the ACS URL, you will wanna choose this bottom one, which is the sandboxgoogle.com. And then underneath the OTP pattern, this is the third one, you're gonna choose the only option that was there. Now that you have done both of those, hit on apply. Once it has been applied, you wanna go right back inside of your settings, go over into apps. Trust me, we're, we're almost done. It seems like a lot of work, but once you actually go through it, it's really not that bad. So we're gonna go back down over into messages, uh, and then we're just basically gonna force stop it. So it kind of restarts up all over again with the settings that we just changed for it. So hit on force stop. Then you can hit on the home button. And let's just say that we want to bring out that messages icon onto our main page. So if we bring this one out, I'm going to place it right here just for now. We're going to open this up and then this gives you the ability to upgrade now. So what you see here is what we were working for in all of those steps. It's a way to upgrade now to the latest and best beta version of Android messages, which gives us RCS messaging. So you just want to hit on upgrade now and then you just hit on next allow and you are all done and set. You're able to go through with all of your read receipts, the delivered receipts. You can see when they are typing and everything else. So now that you are all set up, I'm just gonna show you a little bit of a little video I did with some B-roll between a conversation with Brett and I. Uh, you'd be able to see that I am texting out, which you're gonna have a lot of characters. It's not a normal SMS anymore. You can send high resolution photos. You can also send payments. Uh, if you are asking for $5 from somebody or you're doing a pool or anything like that, you can send high quality videos. You can see the scent the red, the delivered, and also the bouncing bubbles, letting you know that they are also trying to respond at this moment in time. So it's really similar to iMessage. It's probably gonna be tagged as a message in the future for Android messaging. Now there's two important disclaimers I do wanna mention. The first one is that this will work with any Android device, as long as you follow these steps. The next one is that it'll only work with other people who also have RCS enabled. So if you're trying to text somebody who does not have RCS enabled. It's just gonna be regular messaging for you. But when you do text somebody, such as Brett right here, uh, then you'll be able to see everything such as delivered, sent, the bouncing bubbles. But that is about it for you guys. I hope that this video has helped you guys out. If it did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you guys liked this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video as well. And I'll see you guys later.